Have you ever walked through the front doors of a church and immediately felt welcomed? Have you ever walked through the front doors of a church and immediately felt loved? Have you ever walked through the front doors of a church and immediately felt the presence of God? Well, that's exactly what you feel when you walk through the front doors of St. John's United Methodist Church. And I can attest to this because I am a member of St. John's United Methodist Church located in Anderson, South Carolina. Today, I would like to discuss three things. I would like to discuss the history of St. John's. I would like to tell you how you can get involved in the activities in St. John's. And also, I'd like to tell you how that you can better serve the Lord with opportunities at St. John's. Let's talk about the history. St. John's United Methodist Church is one of the oldest ch churches in Anderson, South Carolina. The actual building was built in 1828 and was renovated on April 14, 1912. And if that date rings a bell with anybody, that is the date, the exact Sunday, that the Titanic sank. So the very first church service held in the newly renovated chapel was the day the Titanic sank. The beautiful columns make this church very special. The beautiful stained glass windows make you feel like you are hearing a Bible story for each window that you look at. And that's what makes this church aesthetically pleasing. But what makes this church really special to me is different ways that you can get involved. Just like every other church probably in South Carolina, if not the United States, there's always a Sunday school service. Our start runs from 9.30 to 10.15. Then we have a coffee break from 10.15 to 10.30. And at 10.30, our worship service starts. And our worship service is held by our Reverend, and her name is Dr. Kitty Haltzclaw. Not only do we have Sunday worship, we have other ways that you can get involved as well. We also have very special small groups that meet weekly so that you can build your relationship and maintain that relationship with God. One of the very special ones is a paint and scripture class. And what that class is, it each week they give you a topic from the Bible and you bring a blank canvas and watercolors and you paint a photograph that, or a picture that you think reflects what that Bible verse means. So you're actually worshiping God at the same time and using your artistic skills. So that's very good for people that might want to expand their idea of painting while reading the Bible and listening to, to religious music. Another one is a very special small group, and I say it's special, it's very special to me because I'm the leader, is called Pathfinders. And that group, we meet every Thursday night, and we basically pick a topic each week, and we discuss how that we can use that topic based on biblical scripture and apply those lessons to our lives so that every day we are serving God and we can bring our relationship closer to God. There's also a discipleship training class that happens on Monday nights. And that discipleship training is basically for new members of the United Methodist Church. That class explores how you can be a better disciple for Christ. It talks about everything from church attendance all the way up to making a difference on a national level and doing missions trips. We also have a group that I don't know very much about because I'm not single, but we also have a singles group that meets every Tuesday night that discuss different topics that would have to do with being single while serving the Lord and the topics that they may struggle with while being single. Another one that is very special to me is the church chancel choir. I am a member of the church choir. We meet every Wednesday night for rehearsal and we sing most every Sunday. And what makes this 45 member group special is that we're all like a big family. So when we come together on Wednesdays to sing, we have a common goal of singing together and sounding good and worshiping God. But we're like a family, a close-knit family. We're always checking in on one another, finding out how everybody's doing, how are you surviving the pandemic of COVID. And it's just a really close-knit group that makes you feel really welcome at the church. And that group is very special to me. And there's actually a motto that I find very funny that people say, <laughs> come here to the church choir singing on Sunday, and while you're there, you might as well stay around and hear the sermon.
<laughs> I don't think that's quite true because our sermons are great, but that's been a long-standing motto at the church for years, and I kind of find that somewhat hilarious. We also have very special mission groups uh, that you can get involved in. We have a child development center at church. And what that is, is an after-school program for parents who are either single parents or couples who might not be able to afford childcare for their families. So the Child Development Center serves as a safe haven between the time that the children are dropped off from school to the time that their parents pick them up. And this is free, and the children are given a snack, and they're also taught different activities that are biblical related. We also have a clothes closet, and the clothes closet is an actual business that's on our property that is a non-for-profit business, and they take donations to serve the community by offering homeless people or people that are less fortunate than ourselves free clothing, free children's clothing, blankets in the winter, fans in the summer, and they have anything from clothing up to small household appliances to just help people make it through it, people that are a little bit less fortunate than we are. We also combine efforts with the South Main Mercy Center in Anderson, South Carolina, where we meet on Sundays and we serve homeless people fresh cooked meals. Um, that's very important to me. I've done it a couple times and it's a very unique opportunity to do what Jesus would do. We get together, we cook at the South Main Mercy Center in the kitchen. And like I said, we just serve lines of people, anybody that wants a free meal, and we don't necessarily have to check if you are homeless. If you're hungry, come get a meal. And that happens at South Main Mercy Center. And another great mission opportunity is Rebuild Upstate. And what we do there is once a month we get together with Rebuild Upstate and we volunteer to repair homes. In other words, for someone who might be newly disabled, we may install handicap bars in their bathroom or near their bathtub. Or if they're having a leaky roof, we may um, all get together and repair that roof. Our most recent project was two Saturdays ago, and we built a handicap accessible front porch to someone's home who was now confined to a wheelchair. And that mission is very, very important to a lot of people because it gives you a chance to do what Christ would do. You're helping those people in need. So in conclusion, St. John's is not only a great place to worship, but it's a great place to build your relationship with Christ. Because I feel you're doing the work that Jesus would do. You're serving the hungry. You're helping people less fortunate than you are. You're helping children. And that's what makes this church very special to me. And I would love to invite you to join us for our Sunday service starting at 1030. We're located on 515 South McDuffie Street in Anderson, South Carolina. And while you're there, if you like us, stick around, join one of our groups. You don't even have to be a member of our church to join one of our small groups. Just come and join us. Most of those meet at six o'clock in the evening. So in conclusion, I would like to say that St. John's is a very special place for me. And it's definitely helped me grow my relationship with God. So come join us. Thank you.